Hello YouTube, welcome back to my video. In this video, I am going to show you how you can hide the download path in PHP. Okay, so I have uh, just given two examples here. So this is the the uh, file which we are. I mean, uh, you may you may have hosted in your website, and you want to hide this link completely, and you you can give a custom URL like this for all the files which uh, you are uh, giving the download option. Okay. So I have just opened my download section in my Chrome browser. As you can see, I have uh, downloaded these files uh, from uh, these sites. Uh, but you can see uh, the link of this site. I mean, this file is shown here. See exactly here. So uh, I'm going to show you how you can hide this in your website, and you can have a custom links for different files also. Okay. So I have my uh, exam server installed in my uh, PC. If you don't know how to set up a simple PHP server, please go into my videos. I have another video how you can set up a simple PHP server. Okay. So let me uh, start my Apache uh, exam uh, server, Apache server through exam. So uh, it's installed in C drive, exam and ST docs folder where I will uh, create my uh, PHP pages. Okay. So I'm just uh, creating an index.php where we'll start our page okay let me open this in my notepad plus plus and i'm just writing my name and if i'm just saving this and then let me open my browser and if i'm just writing localhost you can see uh, the page has been loaded okay okay i just uh, created a folder named files inside the doc folder so i have just uh, pasted two uh, files uh, to, to just to try testing so this is t.pdf and this is uh, just a zip file with some contents okay now i am going to create uh, an actual download link for that file through index.php so i am just writing the code here Yes, I have uh, written the code to download the two files t.pdf and test.zip. Okay, now let's go to our browser and check how it is looking now. If I'm just opening my localhost page and if I'm just clicking test.zip, it should download the file test.zip. You can see it's downloaded here. Okay, now if I'm just uh, going for t.pdf, it should uh, open the file or force me to download okay so i'm trying to download that if i'm just downloading this one you can see the file should download okay i'm just downloading here okay you can see file is also downloaded okay yes this is the downloads page of uh, my chrome browser as you can see the link of both the files is shown here so if the user is getting this link directly they don't want to open our our website uh, through uh, the proper way they have they can just copy paste the link and download it as like this okay now uh, we can hide this link permanently from the user that's what i am going to show you here so let me download this test.zip and uh, t.pdf if I'm just copying it again you can see it's going to uh, the page link okay so I'm going to show you how you can download this so I'm going to create a new fold I mean new file here which is going to mask uh, the actual link of the file okay so let me uh, create a new file here and I'll write the code inside that and let's see how we can mask the link again
yes i have uh, just created a page uh, named download.php and i have uh, this code in that uh, page okay now with uh, using this uh, code you can actually mask the path okay I i'll show you one now we have already uh, uh, given this download link i mean if you are uh, clicking the t.pdf this will be downloaded okay now i am just uh, pasting that link inside this path and saving this and here i am uh, giving a uh, giving a link to download that through that uh, through that download.php okay let's see so i am uh, giving it as uh, through download okay download.php and i am giving the path as download.php only okay let's see if i'm just saving this one and uh, going back to our page and i'm just refreshing the local host page and you can see i have a link here t.pdf through download.php okay so you can see uh, uh, down here uh, the link of the page download.php if i'm just clicking that you can see the uh, t.pdf is again getting downloaded now uh, going to the downloads page you can see we have successfully masked uh, the link of uh, this file you can see uh, before it was like uh, localhost files t.pdf now we have successfully masked it completely to download.php okay so uh, the user will not get the uh, exact path of uh, our file okay now i'm going to test uh, with uh, this test.zip if i am uh, now going to files and i'm taking the test.zip copy it come back to the page and I'm pasting it here uh, save it and now just going back to our page and uh, refreshing it here uh, if I'm just uh, uh, clicking this one it will download the test.zip you can see test.zip has been downloaded and the path is this one okay localhost uh, dot uh, uh, slash download.php okay so you can uh, basically you can keep your files anywhere uh, in the anywhere uh, inside uh, the folder all you have to uh, do is uh, in your download.php file uh, just uh, put your uh, path correctly okay so this will work for all type of file like uh, a jpg file or uh, excel file any type of file this code is working i have tested that okay now uh, we have an issue here okay now this download.php we have hard coded this test dot i mean uh, the path uh, permanently hard coded that one okay now what if we want to have this download option for the two files which we have given here t.pdf and uh, and the test.c we want uh, the masking uh, without hard coding it here we can do it we will have to uh, uh, do a small change in uh, this download.php so the basic way if you have uh, lesser download files you can I, i'll show you a small uh, example now let me let me uh, create a this is for now uh, now let it for t.pdf okay so if you am clicking it here it will download the t.pdf and now i am giving for test.zip so test.zip dot uh, now you can have a identifier here to uh, to say uh, to identify in the download.php which download path is actually uh, actually called okay now we can set a, a id here like id1 and if i'm if you are setting it here as id2 now if the user click uh, uh, this link it will pass an id1 into download.php where you can create a simple if loop to set the path okay i'll set it and show you how yes i have uh, just uh, written a code i mean uh, a simple if loop so it will uh, this page will receive the id parameter from uh, this page and if it is one it will set the path as uh, files uh, t uh, dot pdf and if it is two it will set it as uh, uh, test.zip okay yes that's all uh, let's try uh, running this one going back to our page and if refreshing it here you can see there is two files uh, t.pdf through download.php and uh, test.php okay so if i'm just clicking this one we can see t.pdf uh, uh, has been downloaded and if i'm just clicking this one the test.zip is downloaded okay so this is the uh, simplest way uh, where you can hide that uh, path so going back to the downloads page you can see 
uh, it's uh, still it is just passing an id it's still hiding hiding our uh, path of the file okay now if you have uh, suppose if you have more than um, two like say 100 or 1000 uh, download files in your in uh, your project and uh, you want to have uh, uh, the masking for all that files it's a uh, it's not practically possible to get a if loop of a if else loop for all that files okay so in that case you'll have to get the help of your database mysql database so in my next video i'll show you how you can set uh, uh, the down uh, the masking for uh, a large number of files with using uh, mysql database okay so now you have in this uh, example we have passed uh, the uh, id or uh, the identifier as uh, a, a get parameter like this so in my next video i'll show you how you can mask this download dot php also so basically the link will be like download download slash one two three four five On, only this will be the all other things will be done uh, by uh, the mysql database okay so in my next video i'll show you that hope you got uh, this example uh, very clearly if you have any doubt in this please comment below i'll share all uh, this uh, source code in my description you can have it and uh, please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for